continue bleeding. Hamza Yusuf, KTN News. Now get this, 150 teenage girls from Korea East and West Seb counties have been saved from the cart. The teenagers are currently staying at the Kabeu Yue Rescue Center. The outlawed FGM is rampant among the Korea community and is commonly practiced during the long December school holiday. Ramal Buire spoke to some of the rescued girls for this report. At Kabeu Yue Rescue Center in Mabera, a group of girls are undergoing guidance, counseling and mentorship. They are lucky to have been saved from the illegal and retrogressive practice of female genital mutilation. The 150 girls aged between 8 and 16 years are now safe and under shelter of the Last Mile 4D, an organization that deals with rescue operations of girls under the threat of FGM. The budget we had done, we had done a budget of 60 girls and right now we are having 105 girls. Now food, is become, food has become a challenge. Uh, the cloth, they don't have some come in when they are in uh, tattered uh, cloth and uh, sanitation. And uh, we feel that we need some support from the partners. During the festive season, more so the long December break, a number of girls undergo the cut as a rite of passage in accordance to the courier tradition. The outlawed practice is done in high secrecy as concerted efforts by the authorities have been intensified with the goal of putting behind bars all the perpetrators. <laughs> Nikaenda nikaambia mami mami akasema hata hiyo asijana kwa sababu yeye akutaiwa. Ile dadi alisikia mami anaanza kupinga akasema ni lazima tutaenda bypass. Shida ambayo nimeleta hapa nimetoroka kupesaji. Kwa sababu kule nyumbani nilikuwa hatarini sana. Shesha yangu ambaye amemzaa baba alikuwa anasema anataka kwa jukuu wake watu wasijana watetete. So dadi akakata akasema kwamba hadi alikuanga na dada yake ambaye mama yake alimtekeka na hiyo dada yake bahati mbaya akafa so ataki tohara za wasichana na pia mama ataki tohara za wasichana shosh peke yake ndo anataka tunapata changamoto wengi wanapokuwa wamekeketwa wasichana wanaacha shule kwa sababu ya changamoto hii ya kukeketwa kwa sababu unakuta sasa ameambiwa amejisikia kwamba amekuwa sasa mwanamke anaweza sasa kaolewa sasa hata haoni haja ya kuendelea na elimu sasa tunapata dropouts wengi sana kwa shule zetu wakati wa tohara kama hii au wakati baada ya tohara au baada ya wamekeketwa wamemaliza kama hapo tukifungua January wengi wao tutapata kwamba wameolewa au wengi wao tutapata wamebeba mimba Reports indicate that most of the girls who undergo the cut are subjected to it unwillingly, with the grandparents, some parents and neighbors majorly behind the searchful plans. Bamwe Bure, KT News.